Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we're meant to have our hands on issue number 48 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Part Works, but it's not available. It is on back order and I don't know when it'll be in. I have been notified that it could take several weeks or even a month before it comes in from back order. So today I'm going to push through and still make our Flopsy and Benjamin Bunny applique character square. To reference the applique square, I do have a little picture of it here on our completed image of the quilt. I'm going to be using all of those tiny little scraps of fabric from all the other previous applique squares that I have kept tucked away in my fabric box. To make my applique, I've got a piece of fabric 22 centimeters by 22 centimeters square, which I'm going to use as the backing. And I've got a mixture of all of the leftover fabrics from our previous applique squares. So these are really going to come in handy. All of the scraps of fabric have bonderweb already applied to them. They are off cuts, so I just need to cut out the required shape and iron it down onto my backing fabric. I've studied this little square really carefully and I've tried to match the colours with our scraps as close as possible. I've also blocked out the different shapes that I will need for when I cut out my pieces because I don't have the template. Time to get cracking and start cutting out our shapes. I'm going to be doing this just by eye and trial and error by looking at our blocking pattern and also the little square here on our quilt. I'm going to start with Benjamin Bunny first. I'm going to be drawing with my scissors. So he's in position and all of the backing pieces of the bonder web have been removed. I'm going to now press him down in one hit onto our backing fabric. Benjamin Bunny is ironed down. Now I'm going to cut out the pieces of Flopsy. The reason why I made Benjamin first is because Flopsy's pieces lay over Benjamin's. So I'm happy with the way I've cut out all of the pieces for Flopsy Bunny. I'm now going to remove her Bonderweb backing pieces and then place her in her final position before I press her on with the iron.
Flopsy Bunny's in her final spot. I'm now going to press her down with the iron onto the backing fabric. And here we have my version of Flopsy and Benjamin Bunny. I think they turned out okay. It doesn't look exactly like the magazine, but I did cut them out and used the original design as a reference, just freehand and just by using my eye. I'm so glad that I kept all of those scraps from all of the previous applique character squares. I hope you were able to access issue number 48 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Partworks and I hope you enjoyed making your Flopsy and Benjamin Bunny character square. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. I look forward to seeing you next time when I stitch around these two and add in their finer details and maybe a tree or two. Until next time, bye!